Hey guys, Katie here. Today's video is actually an older video that I've already posted, but I wanted to repost it because I've had several of you really liking my sports layouts late, lately. So this one has to do with soccer and I hope it inspires you to try something like this on your next sports layout. Let's take a look. As part of the Twisted Sisters YouTube Hop, we take a product from the current catalog and twist the use just a little bit. And so I am looking at the January and February 2022 catalog and specifically the Sweet as Honey. So you've seen me use this, <clears throat> excuse me, as intended a couple of videos, um, but I am going to twist this a little bit. And I'm going to be concentrating on the digital art collection for Sweet as Honey. Now, our digital art collections, you purchase them and then you'll just look in your account tab on my website and go to your um, digital art purchases and then you'll download them to your computer and then upload them to your uh, cutting software. So I use Cricut and so I did all of this in Cricut Design Space. And I am going to be scrapbooking this photo of my daughter and her soccer teammates. And I used, there is a huge, um, there's a layout on this digital art collection. There are actually several things, but one is a two page layout and it has um, an 11 and a half by 11 and a half hexagon uh, overlay for the layout. So all I did was I cut that. Um, I didn't need the whole thing because I'm going to be using it as a stencil. And so this is basically going to serve as my stencil and I'm going to ink up, I think, black ink at this moment um, to make it look like soccer balls. So I'm going to ink that up on the sides of my white daisy cardstock base. So let's get started and let me speed this up and walk you through it a little bit. So I'm going to start by just laying down this overlay over my White Daisy cardstock base. I pulled out my all-purpose mat and then just black ink and a mini um, blending tool. And I'm just going to pick up that black ink and sponge all around. Now I'm not going to do a solid border and you'll see here in just a second. Um, I'm trying to keep it within the confines of some of those hexagons, but I keep going off into the other one. So then I have to correct it. So I keep pulling this off to see kind of where I'm at. And then I'm going to leave an open space um, toward the bottom two thirds and then go ahead and fill in just a little bit on this bottom part. I did uh, flip the stencil because at first I thought I was going to leave this a 12 by 12 white daisy. And you'll see here in just a second that I've decided to trim it down and mat it. So again, I'm going to repeat the process, except on this side, the majority of the sponging is going to be at the bottom, and then there's just going to be a little bit up at the top. And I'm hoping by doing that, um, it's going to look more like a soccer ball pattern instead of um, the bee kind of theme that Sweet as Honey has. So you'll see here, this is where I've decided to cut off um, a quarter of an inch from each side. And the reason I'm not just cutting off half an inch from two sides is because there were some borders that I needed to cut off as well. I'm going to go ahead and sponge some of that black ink all the way around that. Again, um, the photo of my daughter, they're kind of rough. Um, even though they're sweet, super sweet girls, they're kind of rough. And so I thought by keeping with all the sponging and the black and the grunge, it would kind of play along with the photo. So this is a pattern paper that comes with the sweetest honey. I love that it mimics, um, newspaper. So I've tried, I tried to cut off just some pieces that you really couldn't tell were bee themed. So I loved up at the top that it says Golden Beauties, and then down at the bottom, there is that beeswax. Um, I'm hoping that my little pennant underneath my photo will hide that. Now, these are some zip strips from that pattern paper I just put along the side, and I think that matched perfectly with, believe it or not, the grass. Uh, this picture was taken in February, and here in Texas, our grass usually isn't green in February. Um, so I kind of thought it kind of brought out that, and then also that Golden Beauties from that newspaper print. So I've just assembled these. Again, these come from the Digital Art Collection, and this is a banner. 
Um, in design space, I actually took off the words as can be. Um, so I would just have sweet. And then right here, I'm assembling these two little banners. Now I brought in the red um, because my daughter, she's the goalie. And of course her jersey is always a different color and it happens to be red on this one. So I definitely wanted some pops of red and here later in the video, I'll add even more pops. So I'm going to put this back on my Versamart just to Versa mat just to make sure that this photo is even. Now I do have that mounted on some foam and I do have it glued down but not really secure on the edges so I can tuck in some of these pennants and tags. Up at the top, the, those two tags, they come with that um, two page layout and I'm just going to use them kind of catty corner, apply that little heart. And then these little acrylic red bows are actually from the Deck the Palm special that Close to My Heart just had. And I love that they're at the top. And if you're a follower of mine, you know that I just don't like tags with um, empty holes. So this stamp set, I love. Um, I'll leave the link down below if it's still available. But there is a sentiment that says Superstar, and I'm just going to mask um, the end and add that same S to the end of that. And then there's some little bitty stitching. I'm adding that around the edge, and you'll be able to see that a little bit closer in the still photos at the end of this video. And then those little words that I put to the right of the photo, as well as that big red um, word that I popped up, those actually come from the same stamp set as well. I'm just going to add a few journaling lines over here to the right. Um, I felt like there was just too much white space over on the right side of that little pennant. And then I'm going to add the date on the left side of the layout. Now, a last minute addition was uh, this gloss spray. Now, if you've seen the soccer uh, layouts that I've done of my daughter's team before, I've actually used this gloss spray a lot. And so since this is going into her album, I definitely wanted to bring that gloss spray over to this layout as well. And that is pretty much the layout. Um, I did correct one of those little droplets right there. And other than that, it is done. I am about to show some close-ups of this layout. Now remember that this layout was done a couple of years ago. So I don't really have links to anything, but if you have any of these products on hand, you definitely can use those. Or a hexagon is definitely a universal shape. So if you have Cricut Design Space, just insert a hexagon and repeat that shape multiple times to create your own stencil. Don't forget that if you like this video, go ahead and share it with your friends. Leave me a comment, and if you aren't already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and sign up for notifications. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend.